there are certain positions where it's you know like first base for the Yankees. There right. is a lineage there. There is there is a lineage with with Montreal Canadian goaltenders. I am a huge Carey Price guy. Patrick Waugh is the greatest goaltender in the history of the game. Patrick Waugh, as a rookie, went out and won a Conn Smythe, and you can do a damn thing about it. Patrick Waugh, he did it again with the Habs. He won a Conn Smythe. He told the owner he's leaving live on television after a Red Wings game. He went to Colorado, and he has Stanley Cup rings in his ears. He is the greatest goalie in the history of time. He's the, hence, henceforth the greatest goalie in the history of Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, the uh, the Ken Dryden that we left off of that list yeah, he was pretty good of too. goalies, yeah. he was pretty good too. He had a pretty good team in front of him, which I think that some Habs fans hold against him when they say who is the great. Some of those goalies didn't have forward passes, so we'll take them out of the mix because that makes it hard to debate. I say we bring that rule back. <laughs> yes, no forward passes. No in for, hockey. for one for one All Star game, no forward passes. Yeah, but like. I do have a soft spot for Ken Dryden because he was the DJ Khaled of his time. I mean, all he does is win, Sixero. True, and that's all he did was win. Hell of so an intellect too, Ken Dryden. I, yeah, I get why you would say uh, Patrick Waugh is the greatest goalie in Habs history. A lot of people, but a lot of people say Pat Martin Brodeur is clearly the greatest goalie of all time. I disagree. I love Marty. Yeah. Patrick, Patrick's the man. Patrick is, is Everest with one face on it for me. Yeah, I, Marty Brodeur for me, obviously the system played a, a factor, uh, but you don't have the system without the goalie behind him. And I'll just say this, while you talk about the greatest goalie in Habs history and you're talking about Yankees first baseman, he's the greatest goalie of our time. Carey Price? Carey, name a goalie you would mm. rather have right now or for the past five years. Like you gotta go back to yeah. what? Brodeur or Hashik for the best goalie since this guy. Yeah. And the worst part of all this is as you compare him to Dryden or as you compare him to Patrick Waugh, understand this guy never had a team. True. Like that. If this guy had teams like that, what kind of numbers would we be talking about? Astronomical numbers. I mean, this is. I the think this is best goalie on planet Earth. I think he's been there for a while. And I think Mark Bergevin has done him a disservice, and it may have been wasting the prime years of Carey Price. We'll count this when it's all done, yeah. but I, I believe firmly that that's the best goalie on planet Earth. He has been there for a few years now. The Olympic Games was evidence to me when he played with a pretty good team. <laughs> His numbers were ridiculous, and not just goals against. The save percentage numbers that he put up in the Olympics were ridiculous as well. Like the only name, like Jonathan Quick, when he was winning cups, get out of here with was Jonathan. Was pretty Quick. good though. Like I'm just, I'm just thinking the only yeah, name in this Price era that I would kind of throw Andre in there. Andre Vasilevsky is good right now, but yeah, you're not but I'm saying. just saying Jonathan Quick in that stretch where they won a couple cups in three years, he was pretty damn good. Right, and but so I'm, and I'm so not was saying he's as good as Carey Price. That pumped up some numbers that I just, I, I honestly think it might be far and away. Best Far goalie. Away. Oh, there's a lot of people that would agree Earth. with you. There's a lot of people that would agree with you. Uh, Eric Engels, by the way, Sportsnet.ca. Yeah. Uh, the big read is currently up on Sportsnet.ca. He walks you through draft day 2005 for Carey Price. And it was the draft, by the way, after the canceled season yes. at the Weston in Ottawa, the Sidney Crosby year, the first NHL lottery year. And, and, and most GMs who were involved in that and scouts are in this article. Eric talks to everyone, including Carey Price. If you want to go back and look at the most significant day of Carey Price's career and how it broke down, go to sportsnet.ca right now. Eric Engels, friend of the show, did a phenomenal job. Highly oh, recommend. By the way, a, a, a great reminder, too, that he was booed in a preseason game in 2010. And there are some, am some among that fan base who believe they should have taken Yarrow Halak over Carey Price. Like whenever someone gets caught a prisoner of the moment, there are two things that I'll always point back to that when you lose sight of the big picture, you've done yourself a terrible disservice. Yarrow Halak, remember this, there was a lot of people who thought they should have taken him over Carey Price and Monte Ellis and Steph Curry in Golden State. Sometimes you cannot be a prisoner of the moment. Sometimes you have to look at the big picture. And those are the two best occasions of that. And I'm probably talking to the wrong guy when I say that, aren't I? No, I, I agree with you. <laughs> and remember, the Habs had a guy named Jose Theodore at the time when they drafted Carey Price. Right. Who had won a heart. Like, he's uh, done pretty well.